One way that I deal with student apathy and not reading assigned text is actually a procedure that my husband was taught when he was in, um, when he started college and his teacher, his English teacher asked the class what their major was. And that way with him being math, he was not as likely as say I would be to be more um, literature minded and she would read those responses and then try to get them to understand based on what their major was. Um, another practice I use, before I get to that, there was a poem that I always think about when I'm teaching, and I'm not sure who wrote it, but it's called, Cause I Ain't Got a Pencil. And if you've never read that short poem, poem you need to, I highly encourage it, because it will give you a completely different mindset approaching your classroom. With that having been said, when I do my teaching and try and get the kids to pay attention and not just skim it or skip it all together, I do the system where we have the question mark, the exclamation point, and the check mark. The question mark obviously means I have a question. The exclamation point means that this is an important topic, perhaps one that you will see pop up later. And then the check mark, of course, means I understood. So I encourage my students to use that as they're reading. That way, if they do get confused, they'll be more likely to ask. They may not be as shy about asking for help. Another method I used is one I, was, I learned during my undergrad at JSU with Dr. Jordan Barkley, and that was to have a group usually of about four, and you would have one recorder, one speaker, and then the two or however many others you have, the others would get the gist of the story. Yet, yet another thing I learned in my educational background, the gist. Um, get the gist of the poem or the story and have the um, recorder write it down and then have the speaker speak about it. So if you are better at writing then you could be the, you know, the, um, the recorder. And if you're better at speaking, you could be the speaker. So that goes for, you know, some of us who don't mind being in the public speaking area. Um, that's really helpful. And then otherwise, I would just try to make it as fun as possible, kind of like an icebreaker. Um, you know, we usually do things where we um, take the piece of paper and write what's really, really, really important to just us individually and then crumple it up and throw it across the room and whomever catches it, reads it. And then that way we have different points of view. And I think that's really helpful as far as the reading. And like some of my other classmates said, I just try to tailor my lessons so that my students will want to read it. Um, it's really good with like Edgar Allan Poe. You get a nice Halloween setting. That's very helpful and it's engaging for the students. Like I said, the snowball fight and um, Basically, everything we read in those articles, the three main points, and then the, I think it was the SMART response, and um, that's really about it. So, I've understood and appreciated some of your answers, and I think everyone's doing a good job.